Blessed is the one who considers the helpless.
Vindicate me, God, and plead my case against an ungodly nation. Save me from the deceitful and un just person for you are the God of my strength why have you rejected me why do I go about because of the oppression of the enemy. Send out your light and your truth. They They shall bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling places. Then I will go to the altar of God. To God, my exceeding joy, and I will praise you Wait, wait, wait. 
the peoples then you let them go
darkness has come upon us, but we have not forgotten you. And we have not dealt falsely with your covenant. Our heart has not turned. And our steps have not deviated from your way. Yet you have crushed us in a place of jackals and covered us with deep darkness. If we had forgotten the name of our God, extended our hands to a strange God. Would God not find this out? For he knows the secrets of the yourself up. Why do you sleep, Lord? Awake. Do not reject us forever. Why do you hide your face and forget our affliction? have sunk down into the dust. Our bodies cling to the earth. Rise up, be our help, and redeem us because of your mercy. my verses to the King. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. You are the most handsome of the sons of mankind, grace is poured upon your lips. Therefore God has blessed you. your sword on your thigh, mighty one, in your splendor and majesty, and in your majesty, ride on victoriously. For the cause of truth, humility, and righteousness, let your right hand teach you awesome Sharp, the 
this holy mountain beautiful in elevation the joy
hear this all peoples listen all inhabitants of the world both low and high rich and poor together my mouth will speak wisdom and the meditation of my heart will be understanding I will incline my ear to a proverb I will express my riddle on the harp why should I fear in days of adversity when the injustice of those who betray me surrounds me Those who trust in their wealth and boast in the abundance of their riches. No one can by any means redeem another or give God a ransom for him. for the redemption of his soul is priceless and he should cease imagining forever that he might live on eternally that he might not undergo decay for he sees that even wise people die the foolish and the stupid alike perish and leave their wealth to others their inner thought is that their houses are forever and their dwelling places to all generations they have named their lands after their own names but a man in his splendor will not endure like the animals that perish this is the way of those who are foolish and of those after them who approve their words like sheep they sink down Death will be their shepherd and the upright will rule over them in the morning and their form shall be for Sheol to consume so that they have no lofty home but God will redeem my soul from the power of Sheol, for he will receive me. Do not 
be afraid when a person becomes rich when the splendor of his house is increased for when he dies he will take nothing with him his wealth will not descend after him though while he lives he congratulates himself and though people praise you when you do well for yourself he will go to the generation of his father I 
will not take a bull from your house, nor male goats from your fold. I can't. 
kept silent You thought that I was just like you Present the case before your eyes. Now consider this, you who forget God, or I will tear you in pieces, and there will be no one to save you. He who offers a sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me. And to him who sets his way properly, I will show the selfie